Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What you are about to witness is the absolute pinnacle of gaming YouTube. Nowhere on the planet will you find a better gaming YouTuber, I swear. And now, with your host, Jibba73, The Double E Show! Dude, can we have $5 now? What's going on, everybody? Jibba73 back with The Double E Show! It's Moving Monday! American Truck Simulator! Now, I think I've got the issue figured out with the stutteriness. I'm not 100% positive. Uh, let me do something real quick just to be sure. All right, I think this will take care of it. We are taking some dry milk to Colorado, and uh, we're going to do that right now. So, happy Monday, everybody. It's 1 o'clock Eastern Time here in the East Coast of the United States. Uh, so, it said there was an update, um, even though I'm running on the beta branch, so I can continue to run uh, Mantrid's mod. Um, but it didn't reset me, which is good. It left me uh, up here in, in uh, Montana. So we're going from Montana to uh, Colorado. And uh, yeah, let's get underway. Good thing I missed that sign. We'll get underway here and, uh, and we'll start talking about the week ahead. Got some, uh, some good stuff coming up this week. For sure, for sure. But we'll get out of town, get out on the highway, and then we'll start talking about it. I don't want to get rolling too fast. I know I got a stop coming up ahead. No sense in racing to get up to 30 just to hit the brakes. Had another truck coming up behind me. So, all right, got a red light up ahead. Maybe that'll be green by the time we get to it. Maybe, maybe. Seems to be busy with traffic up there, though. Probably won't turn green. There it is. Right on. Negative thinking. Get you everywhere. <laughs> just, just kidding. Always be positive. Whenever possible, be positive. Now, it already wants me to be up to 70. And we're not even actually on the highway yet. As best as I can tell, this is uh, still part of the city road, town road. Not gonna go too too fast. I gotta get on the highway up here. Right here. Now we're getting on the highway. It's gonna pull right out. Taking this 94 ends here. We're going to hop off here and get on 90 going east. Take that signal off now. Oh, goodness. Ah, so this is coming out October 8th, four days ago. The Oregon DLC will have uh, dropped, and I will have bought it. So next week you will see just me focusing on Oregon. 
I will uh, use my other profile and we will just drive around Oregon taking a look at what Oregon has to offer and then I'm sure uh, within a week or so Manfred will have updated the coast to coast map to include all that Oregon has to offer hopefully and 65 see if I can get it up to 70 before I set cruise control 68 69 70 cruise control set put it in the last gear right on coming up two o'clock today brand new series i was fortunate enough to receive a beta of tropical six tropical um i've i've watched a lot of tropical series um tropical four tropical five um i've enjoyed watching the game be played I myself have never played it. Um, I consider myself to be somewhat fortunate whoops, to get a copy of it. Uh, so I am definitely looking forward to diving in. Um, it's a city builder, strategy, management type game. It's in my wheelhouse. Hopefully I do well at it and I do it justice for my first uh, attempt at the Tropico series. And, uh, and it's a beta, so there'll be beta things in it um, but we're gonna we're gonna play the crap out of it and uh, and be excited to do so I know I know I am very excited to play it Tuesday transport Tuesday so uh, yeah hey listen there are many things that I that I don't do well in transport fever one of the things that I don't do well is um, trains I I had problems with the just the single train on the single line going back and forth between the oil well and the oil refinery um, but now I have passenger trains and I did the massive undertaking of laying out a three track system going to three different towns with the option of future expansion and um, and we test out whether or not I did a good enough job. And uh, it's it's a fun episode. Um, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. I mean, especially if you like watching my transport favorite stuff anyways. Uh, if, you're, if you're looking forward to watching me fail, watch the video and decide for yourself. Uh, that being said, Wednesday. Wednesday is Banished with Red Ketchup's Editor's Choice mod. And uh, the town of Red River Valley is progressing along rather nicely. Um, haven't had any issues since the tornado. Knock on wood. No, I'm actually knocking on wood. Um, okay, let's put these wipers on. Uh, it's coming down. It's checking down now. Um, so, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get some gas up here. I got about a half a tank. So. Good time to, to stop and get it while I'm uh, right here at a gas station. I couldn't see the little X on the ground, so I, want, I wanted to make sure this was a good spot. Okay, parking brake on, engine off, let's top her off with some gas. So the town is progressing nicely in Red River Valley. Um, we are in desperate need of getting some good labor in town. Um, so I started the construction of the town hall and you'll get to see how I lay that out with the, uh, the, the, the head of town area. Um, instead of being in the center of town where the farming is and stuff like that, which will eventually get moved, um, I, I, I start to lay out a, a new area uh, for us to expand to uh, with some of the, the main buildings. Good, we got full tank of gas. 
And uh, we'll get back on the highway. Um, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I absolutely love me some Banished. Um, it is the longest running series on my channel. Go by, please. Since you wouldn't uh, back off a little bit or move over to let me out. It is the longest running channel on my or longest running channel on my series. Longest running series on my channel right now. Next to Prison Architect. Really, Mr. Truck? And then let me guess, you're gonna hit the brakes before you move back over. I'm in a bit of a grade. I'm going to actually have to hop over myself. See if I can get this uh, going. And then you hop over. Thanks for that. Hopefully I don't catch up to you too awful fast. Um, but yeah, Banished uh, and then the mods, the mod, you know, uh, started out playing, I believe it was Colonial Charter mod. Uh, on the channel, and then I moved to Mega Mod, a couple iterations of Mega Mod, uh, a couple iterations of Colonial Charter Mod, actually. And then um, now I'm on to Red Ketchup's Editor's Choice uh, to give this one a go. And um, he redid all the vanilla buildings and the base textures, and uh, I mean, it really looks, it really looks pretty. Um, really looks earthy. Looks like it's, it's, alive, not overly saturated with color. Come on, we get over that hump. I know we're going to Colorado, but come on. I got a pretty good engine. So, moving on to Thursday with Depraved. Um, I believe I've figured out the trading system between the uh, the uh, intertown trading. I'm trying to figure out whether I need to downshift or not. No, I'm climbing speed. Okay, very good. Um, because uh, I, I seem to have actually dropped off the stone and I was sitting in my wagon finally, so they might have nerfed it a little bit to make it a little easier in one of the uh, the recent bug fix updates. Um, all I know is that I have finally been able to drop off the stone. I was able to bring a couple of other items over uh, to Johnsonville from uh, Paradise Reborn. Still got a little drizzle going. I'll leave the wipers on intermittent for now. Um, but yeah, I think I got that figured out. And then we generally progress on with the town. Uh, got a couple of things that I wanted to make sure that I, I, uh, I worked out before we get too much further ahead. Yeah, I think the rain is done. Looks like clear skies ahead. It does, it does. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, if you like watching the, the Depraved, which I hope that you do, uh, it's a good episode. And then moving on to Felon Fridays with Prison Architect. So, pr Prison Architect is, um, oh, I was looking down at my phone because I had a call coming in. Uh, Prison Architect, uh, I, I, I get the the minimum security cell blocks uh, designated and prisoners start moving into there and we start working on the planning for medium security, which I've promised uh, for a couple episodes. And uh, the planning is, is coming along real nice. It's 
Uh, minimum or medium security is, is going to be pretty tight um, as far as everything should work well. And I'm not going to overload it with medium security prisoners to start. Um, I've got a nice setup. Looks pretty good. Uh, I might utilize a little bit more space than what I had originally anticipated for um, medium security. I might use another whole block um, and have like a block and a half of medium security and then use the final uh, prison block for uh, high risk and a little, with a little area for supermax um, in case I have anybody that goes up to supermax. But we'll see how it goes as we progress along. But the planning, the planning, she looks good. She does, she does. Okay, let's see if I can get... One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if I can get her up to 80. Since we're out here on the interstate. Watch, by the time I get her up to 80... Um... It'll drop back down to like 75 or 70. Because that's usually what happens. So, here's another uh, example of uh, basically placeholder highways for Mantrid. Um, he's got the connecting roads, but he doesn't really have anything fleshed out between. Uh, cities in some of the states so it's either really flat or you know he'll throw in some trees here and there uh, but there's a lot of barrenness in between um, which is fine it, we've got road to travel and we've got destinations to get to and we will get to them for sure for sure uh, the objective is to uh, to have more road to travel on and uh, and he's done that All right, so, yeah, I was looking down on my phone. My, my mother was calling me. That can't be a good thing. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, I'll be checking that call when I'm done. But, uh, it, I mean, so far, everything looks good and smooth in, uh, in the recording window. So, I'm hoping that it stays that way. This is looking pretty good. I'm not exactly sure. Let's let's actually take a quick look at our uh, at the world map, right? See where we are. Let's see where we're going to. Okay, we're going down to here. Um, we can come in here. Let's back it out one. We'll come in there. Yeah, we'll go right by that. We'll discover that. Uh, and when we and when we go by that, I think that's where we'll stop and save for the uh, for this portion of the trip. But yeah, so as I said at the beginning of the video, uh, Oregon DLC will have come out October fourth. Uh, now I'm recording this before October fourth. I'm actually recording it the day before. Uh, I'm recording on October third, which is unusual. It's a Wednesday, and I don't usually get to record on Wednesdays. However. I am, so I, I'm premonising that the release goes well tomorrow and that it comes out on the 4th, um, and so by the time you guys watch this on the 8th, uh, I will hopefully have had a chance to uh, buy it, install it, and, uh, and we'll take a look at it together next week, next Monday. That's a gorgeous sunset in the back there. It is 8 o'clock in the evening. Um, they're expecting this tomorrow at uh, 5.45. Uh, no, no. They're expecting it tomorrow morning at, uh, at about quarter of 2 in the morning. We've got about five hours left to go on the trip. That's what it was. There we go. 280 some miles 280 260 some miles it looks like well we'll see here in a second it looks like a six to me one one zero 259 yeah it's 260 miles left to go right on right on 
Yeah, we'll pull off in this little town here. We'll discover what looks to be a recruiting agency, uh, which is fine. Uh, we get all the discoverables we can. Um, the mere fact that he put in a town and put something in it to discover, and uh, it also means that because we discover the town, we'll be able to take jobs out of there in the future. Right on, right on, right on. Stay in your lane, Jeva. Stay in your lane. Nice purple hues of uh, dusk up ahead. Gonna hop out over here. Looks like right lane slowing down a bit. Hopefully this car doesn't hop out on me. He is. Even though I'm flying up the road, he's gonna pull out in front of me. And then hit the brakes. Yep. it off a of gear, get it back up to 80 if we can. Got a lot of straight road ahead of us, that's for sure. Now I'm pretty sure Mantrid works on this map alone. I think I've said this before. Uh, and if that's the case, I can understand why he doesn't have an abundance of time um, whoops to uh, to just sit and uh, put assets on the map because uh, he probably has a job or school or or whatnot that he has to do as well and I'm assuming Mantrid is a he uh, which is impolite of me they might have a job school or family that they have to also take care of. And the map modding is a hobby uh, that they cannot dedicate more than the time they've already allotted for it. Um, but I believe Mantrid only makes the coast to coast mod. So, you know, it is what they focus their time on. And I know in the middle of the country, he has fleshed out a lot of interconnecting roads little towns and, and stuff like that um, as he works his way east. So he's come a long way since the map first came out. That's for sure. At that point, I think the furthest point east was Boston. But now he has Maine and, and uh, Vermont and New Hampshire. And yeah, he got a lot more New England in there for sure. I think we're going to skip ahead here uh, to when we get into town, so I will see you then. A few minutes later. All right, and we are just exiting the highway now. Looks like we're getting ready to come into this little town. Yeah, you can see right up ahead there, it is Cheyenne. So I'm, I'm glad we're pulling off to discover it. We've got uh, a garage that we can pick up. I think I might do that. I think I might do that. That's this first right-hand turn here. It was still yellow. Make sure I make that corner without wiping anything out. And I gotta take a right up here. A 
swing out a little bit for that. Looks like right down here on the right, I've got a garage I can buy, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to get her. That way we've got another spot for where we can... Take that signal off. Right here. We're going to enter. We will buy it. Right on. Another truck headquarters. Very good. All right. Let's pull on through. Watch that post back there. Pull the right a little bit over here. pull out and then we will start to cut left yeah it looks like we will clear everything very nice very nice so you know what I think that's probably pretty good right there we're gonna call it here let me uh, get directed back towards the road Right on. We'll stop right here. Put the parking brake on. And uh, yeah, so we bought this garage here in Cheyenne, which is a good good spot. Uh, we, we should be able to come out here and get jobs from here in the future. Very nice. Uh, listen, if you like what you're watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. You have any suggestions of what you think we should do here? on moving mondays in american truck simulator put them in the comments below questions ask me questions i'll take questions and with that i will catch you next monday for another episode of moving mondays peace that was a failure of epic proportions unacceptable